No. The fuck? Get out your thermal visor. I hate this. Oh. Oh, I don't know I save. Yes, I do. Yeah, you're probably going to need to go to... There's nothing you can... Is there a hang on, really? Oh, wait, I got yeah. to climb. Okay, there, there's currently nothing you can do in Magmore. Right. Nothing you can do in... Uh... Alan. Yeah, Fendrana is uh, the only place that there's stuff to do after you check out the furnace. It was terrible there. Yeah. So hopefully, right, think... you can find the bombs at some point or grapple. Actually, that's the thing. I don't know if the grapple beam is necessary. Or if it's just one of those things that will make life easier. I don't know if there's... Well, there is that no, one... Some... Uh, like the lava. Place in the ruins right. here. Yeah, the one with all the lava. Okay, uh, haha. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Oh, that makes oh, sense. Oh, they disappear. Okay. Yep. Oh. Jeez, don't. What the okay, fuck? this is new. Okay, then. Pleated Parasite, hardy member of the Parasite family, invulnerable to most weapons. Yep. Weakness to Morphal more weapons, lovely. That's a very specific evolution. Oh, crap. Okay, so yeah, the Ice Beam is there, but. The magnets don't seem to be involved in that at all. What's that? Boss nest? I don't know. Uh, we do have lore though, and a morph ball tunnel. Okay. What is this otherworldly uh, pestilence th that infests the land? Seeking out life in its blind need for corruption, and where did the meteor that brought it originate? Okay, hold on, I need a drink of water before I continue. Just say, what, what, what is that reading? <laughs> Sound like William <laughs> Shatner. <laughs> Should I just try try doing a Shatner here? If Was you... it crafted by alien hands, or is it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, our minds quail in horror at the thought that long ago in some corner of the universe as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed. Rather presumptuous. Yeah. yeah. And if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast to the hope that uh, this is not so, that only surviving remnants of this evil are here on Talon 4. Then at least there is hope for its eradication. Got bad news for you there. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of spoilers, but, you know, there's three games in the series, so... Yep. Okay, where am I going? Why is this so long? I heard that. What is this? This what? is a whole other spot. I have no idea where you are. Oh, this place. Oh, yeah. I want to go back and deal with the furnace first. Uh, I don't actually think I can, I, if I'm Oh, really? Correctly. Is there stuff blocking off the magnets? I think I actually need the super bomb in there, because... Hmm. In... I can't... No, it took me, like, about 
I want to say close to half an hour to figure this out one on my first playthrough. Oh, screw off, guys. God, why are there so many? Oh, crap, I don't have missiles to deal with this. You got 53 missiles? What are you talking about? I'm trying to build up my reserve again. Okay. Oh. Benzium portion of the oh. war here's isn't wait a minute. Isn't that super bombs? Uh hold on, I can't remember. Well let's find out. Yep. Alright, okay, furnace so... needs magnets uh. and um Magnets. And the ice beam. Uh, yeah, but like, actually, you can bomb. kind of see it. There's a uh, half pipe under here. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. well, let's go check out the other room then. It's interesting how those aren't even light and they just decide, like, let's just make cylinders and have them glow. Yeah, exactly. Oh! An interesting way of making stuff. Okay, interesting. Well, good thing you've been saving up on those missiles, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, what did that open? Um... Runes, I think? What is this, a swimming pool? Do lots of war, but the fuck? Something behind the wall. Oh, I just activated it. Okay then. Oh wow! Interesting. Uh, I'm assuming. I I this way. <laughs> yeah. Many chose are gifted with the distant sight. And even more begin to learn as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. I thought that was because of the phase on that they started becoming psychic. No idea. We peer forward, seeing a prophecy in the ripples of the water, hearing rumors of coming days on the breath of the wind. Uh, though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. Uh, the worst kind of prophecies. And the most common tells of the coming of the worm. Born from parasites, nurtured in a poison womb, the worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we cannot help but fear this dark burden. Wait. I mean, it's kind of spoilers, but I'm trying to remember if final boss of this game is some worm. I don't know. Uh, none know if our temple, the Cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around that abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe the power or cipher which has been produced by linking the 12 artifacts should be strong enough. <laughs> should. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. Okay. To the entrusted one. If you read these words, hello, uh, then our hope has not been been in vain, your path forward is wrought with danger, monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urge that, holy crap, <laughs> that bloom in their brains. Very some encouraging. These, yeah, some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs, believing in the black promise of the great poison. They seek to harness it for their own ends. It is these last that are the greatest danger. Probably pirates, I guess. Probably. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true and trusted one. Okay, just right, a little we, space genocide for you, I guess. I we're doing a genocide. 
I thought the Chozo valued life above all else. Okay, well, just, just which is here, also but... a bit of a Warhammer thing with the old ones being dumbasses. I feel like that's supposed to open and have a magnet ball thing. That looks a little bit too high to reach. Okay, well that... Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. Like maybe... Maybe, maybe the other room has something Yeah, let's check the other room. Because that's just something we can activate. Yeah, okay, let's just see what the other room has to offer. Bugs. Great. Is that something on the wall there, or is that nothing? No, that is something. Only the Horde of the Twelve shall face the worm. Okay, I'm starting to think I was right. <laughs> yeah. The great poison corrupts all, even the Chozo. You can sound like chaos. That looks like something. Oh, this place. Oh. oh, great. This may have been a mistake. At least there's just one. Is there? So far. Not doing very good. Oh, did he die? Yep. Cool. What is this? That is, again, a very veiny statue. Chozo Elder. These statues served as watchful guardians of tombs and shrines. Its outstretched hands are empty as if awaiting an offering. Wait, is this how you get to the meteor? I don't think so. The Hall of the Elders. There is. Was that one of the places that had stuff? Oh, ruins. One of the th places was a hall. Ah. I can't even rotate it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lies beyond the second block. Radiation collector designed to absorb and store solar energy. They appear largely decorative. Good to know. What is that? Safety shield. Interesting. Hold on. Let me just jump up here. Uh huh. Oh, I remember this. Wee. Okay then. Uh, oh, what a I wacky fell. way of doing things. Can you imagine? Oh. Oh. Damn it. How good of a security system something like this would be in real life? Like, who would ever suspect that you need to do some bizarre puzzle mini-game in order to get into an area? They would just have yep. no clue how to get in there. Okay, hold on. Yeah, is this I... even worth it, or is it going to reseal? I don't know. Let's find out. Well, something happened. Yeah path is opened. Has it? Oh, I guess lob yourself again. I'm not sure if those hands are stone either. Yeah. I think this is a mummified corpse. It does kind of seem that way, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Uh, that is not what I was expecting to happen. No. And I thought you'd go up the tube. Okay, well, gay thing. Got a nice door. Okay, thank God. Okay. Just caution your window. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going towards something. Yeah, this is a strange area. Creepy. Yes, it is. You know, this is un oh toads. Toads. Yep. This is a swimming pool. Yep. Telluric alloy. I don't know what that is. I think that's just normal morph bomb. Maybe. Yep. I say, I sure hope so. You're a bit screwed otherwise. Oh, the fish. Oh, oh. Poor fish get are getting sucked down. Well, Sorry, at least fish. they're not gonna suffocate in the open air. There are a lot of frogs here. If I can use some. You know, I'm just thinking again the idea. I've always thought of this. Like, you see how a lot of times in movies or stuff to make it... I think this was, like, one of the things I, I thought of in that uh, Zootopia movie. That's what it was called, right? Uh, yeah. How they always have, like, if it's animal-themed, they've got to have some stuff to uh, make it seem more animal-themed. Like, how they've got, like, antler... Like, animal horns or stuff like that on... In, as decorative stuff on buildings. And they kind of do that again with like the Chozo stuff here. But if you think about that in real life, like that little uh, control panel that you dealt with earlier, can you imagine how you would feel if you walked into a room and there was just like a podium with a human head on it and like a <laughs> lever in its mouth you need to pull in order to turn on the light switches? Because that's essentially yeah, that, what they did there. Like, that would be weird. <laughs> yes, it would. It would okay, be kind of cool, uh, though. That would actually be really awesome. Okay, I wonder if I can make this. Oh, yep. Nice. Okay. Didn't even need it's to pop here. the toads. Oh. What? Oh, is that is super that wrong? Think... No, I think that's an ice beam. It is the ice beam. What? Hell yeah. Hang on, what? Wait. Didn't you find the ice spreader? No, that's probably like the missile attack. Oh, for... okay. Boy, this is very slow firing. Yeah. Okay, that opens up a lot. Really does, yeah. Oh, hang on, what, what was that room? Uh, that... Wrong key. Uh, antechamber. No, that's the one you're in now, the... Oh, uh... Can you not? I think that, I think that is what it's called. Hold on. This Damn it, just... wrong key again. Yeah, antechamber. Really? I don't think that's. Is that what an antechamber is? I'm not even sure if that's on screen. It was. Hey, nice. Uh, okay. Let's try this way first. See what's down here. You know, I've always thought of. I mean, Warhammer. Oh, ooh. elevator. Warhammer kind of does this. I mean, they do it a lot. Hell on over. What? Hell on overworld. So that's going to pull me out somewhere new. Interesting. Okay, what about the other one here? Yeah. Like, just the idea of, I don't know what you'd call it, like, humanist architecture. Like, I've always thought, you know that statue of, like, Atlas holding up the Earth? Mm -hmm. How awesome would it be if instead of having, like, columns on buildings like Parliament or something, you just had, like, giant statues of humans, like, holding up the roof? That would be pretty cool. And like I said, just have, like, humans bases or something or like surrounding 
light switches or something pretty basic like that. That would be really awesome, and I don't know why people don't do that. Uh, another Talon Overlord. What the hell? <clears throat> Talon Overlord. Uh, okay, so we've got two options here. Although... Oh, hang on. What is that big room that you needed the three different themes for? Oh, the uh, Hall, of, Hall Elders. of Elders. Apparently there's a map in there or something. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Missile Recharge. Okay. And... I know that you've got the ice beam, but I've put that you need it there because you still haven't actually activated the thing yet. Okay. You know, I'm kind of thinking this might actually be a good stopping point because yeah. got an ice beam. This seems like it's going to be a very long process after this. Yeah, and also it's getting a little late for me personally, and uh, oh, I yeah. wouldn't mind trying to get to bed early for Friday. Forgot about that. Yeah, and we have been recording for about two hours now, so that's just plenty of footage to edit. Whew, excuse me. Yeah, um... Yeah, we got a lot done. Like, we were all over the place. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we will stop it there, and, uh... Yeah, thanks everyone for joining. We will be exploring... Apparently a large part of the Talon Overworld, as well as uh, Fendrana next time. Yeah, all right. So, I um, guess we'll end it there, since I still don't know how to end videos. I um, guess I'll just say, if there's any architects watching, make weird humanist architecture that is very unsettling, but also cool looking. Yes. Like, make, make the Warhammer future a reality. Just yep. the architecture right. part, though, not maybe the Space Marines. None of the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bad stuff happens. <laughs> yeah, no chaos. Anyways, uh, yeah. I guess bye then. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please press all of the buttons and follow me in all the places. Hope to see you next time. But until then, good night.